Arusha. So, thank you for joining us today. We actually have experience in providing a nutritional counseling to first time parents on the topic of complementary feeding. So, before we begin, uh, can I know what's the age and gender of your child? Um, eight months and one. Eight months and one. That's great to hear. So, do you know about complementary feeding? Okay, but uh, have you done that to your child? Mm, yes. Like, um, I was six months, right? After six months, we can introduce uh, some food. Like, um, you can pretend that the baby is eating a problem in the eating this type of soft food. So actually, uh, this way I like, complementary feeding is a critical stage in a child's development. Complementary feeding is the process of feeding babies other foods and liquids in addition to breast milk. So are you still providing your child uh, breast milk? No. The baby is eating um, usually, in addition to providing milk, uh, we also provide introduced solid foods to baby after the age of six months until two years old. Because uh, complementary food, uh, they provide additional nutrients to help our child to have a very good diet. Since you are providing your child uh, with solid food, uh, are you aware of which types of food that you should avoid? To give to your baby? Egg cannot, and I think chicken can, fish can. I guess not, I guess this tea in me is a lot. Okay, I'm not very sure about it. Okay, it's good to know that you have a full knowledge about which food that you should avoid giving your baby. Other than that, you should also avoid giving honey uh, to babies under 12 months. And cordial soft drinks also uh, you shouldn't give that to your baby because they contain high amount of sugar. Mm -hmm. So we would really like to avoid that. Uh, tea, coffee, drinks also you can't give them to your baby because they contain caffeine. Mm -hmm. um, salt and other seasonings should also be avoided uh, to be added in the solid foods that you wish to give to your baby. Uh, do you have any questions or ideas on how to introduce more other varieties of baby food? Um, thanks for coming. I don't know how to introduce uh, some food or some food to the baby. Okay. So usually here we have a display. Um, we start with single ingredient foods that is easy for your child to swallow and digest. So usually it's a good start with puri. So this is uh, apple puri. So usually we start with puri and then we go to uh, lumpy foods. So this is lumpy oatmeal. And then um, once your baby is starting to get comfortable with eating solid foods, we would go for this minced carrot. And then this is the diced portion of carrot. So once your baby is like more than one year old, so they would like to hold things by themselves. So we can give them a broccoli in small pieces and also this is cucumber. So easy for them to hold. They would like to explore their sensitive skills also. This one is suitable for this one. This is like uh, when they are beginning after six months. Uh, this is like 8 to 10 months, and this is after 1 year old. Okay, so, my name is Kimkina. So, I have continued with food allergy and treatment. So, before I start, do you have any idea on how to treat the babies when they are facing the food allergy? Mm -hmm. So, I have no idea. <laughs> okay. First and foremost, you can introduce new food to baby gradually to detect whether the baby is allergic to a new food. Okay. Next, you can introduce one food at a time 
For instance, um, this week you can introduce uh, the baby with tomatoes and the next week you can introduce avocados to baby and so on and so forth. Then after that, you can wait for 4 days before introducing another new food so the baby has enough time to get used to new food and accept the new food. You see, the book is for this. Yes. And you can spot any allergic reaction that may um, arise during this time of period. Uh, this period. Mm -hmm. Yeah, what type of allergy can be doing with you? Okay, I hope you get some knowledge about food allergy in babies and how to overcome it. Okay, moving on to the next part. Have you ever heard of food intolerance, such as food intolerance and lactose intolerance? Okay, I will briefly explain what food intolerance is. Food intolerance is divided into two categories, which are lactose intolerance and glucose intolerance. For lactose intolerance, it happens when the baby cannot consume or drink uh, cow milk or any dairy product. Mm -hmm. And the common indicators or symptoms of lactose intolerance, such as bloated stomach, diarrhea, and gas. You can manage uh, lactose intolerance with a soy-based formula. However, for gluten intolerance, it happens when the babies cannot um, consume wheat, barley, and oat that contain gluten. Um, you may notice the baby become pale, uh, full smelling stool, and the baby losing the appetite to uh, drink or eat. Mm -hmm. To overcome it, you can introduce um, like gluten-free cereals such as rice and milk. So moving to how to prevent choking, there are some tips to prevent choking. Let's understand again what choking means. Choking is when the baby cannot breathe due to food or other other object is blocking their throat or mistakenly goes down to wind high airway instead of esophagus. Instead of giving the baby larger sizes of food, you can offer safe sizes of food. Like you can avoid um, food in a solid form or uh, chunk larger than 0 0.5 cm, such as grape, mm -hmm. that may cause choking. Mm -hmm. Moreover, the mother can offer soft food mm -hmm. like this, okay, shredded vegetables like celery, carrots, and also can cook them until soft. Maybe can consume easy vegetables. Yes. Yes. Aside from that, you can remove distraction mm -hmm. during meals time, like uh, don't have toys mm -hmm. near the babies or the TV on during meal. Mm -hmm. Okay. And then you can seek your baby safety and supervise your baby during uh, meal time to prevent choking. Do you have? So basically, choking does happen in the same way. Oh, yes. Um, do you have any idea on how to identify when the baby is um, choking? Most probably, yeah, it's the baby is going for something like that. Oh, yeah. This, you know, how to do Your baby is silent or making slight music noises, and then your baby appears distressed. As well as the obvious sign of choking is when the skin color of your baby uh, may change to blue. There are some treatment for choking. Uh, first, you can repeat first week for choking, can save life, and then give up five back blow and give up to five chest thrust. And lastly, you can call 999 if the blockage does not dislodge.
There are five golden rules of complementary feeding that are very crucial for every mother. When they have a baby, they must follow this rule. First of all, in order to feed the baby with other food or liquid, the mother must start it, with, start it when the baby reach, reach six months and onwards. Okay? How to know the baby is ready to eat other food in Sakna is when they show some signs that the baby is ready to eat food in Sakna. Okay? One of the examples is the baby able to sit up well with minimal support, can control his tongue and neck movement better, and then able to coordinate eyes with hand and mouth, tries to grab the food from your plate, and then likes to put things into his mouth as well as open mouth when food is offered. also need enough food to meet his energy needs. We should be given adequate energy rich food, protein and micronutrient to meet a growing child nutritional needs. Food rich with carbohydrate and fats are good sources of energy. Can you name me any two nutrients that are crucial for the baby? The baby also needs carbohydrate, protein, fat, and vit uh, fat, vitamin, minerals, and water. Okay. Uh, note that you need to get the order right by always um, start with carbohydrate first, followed by protein, fat, vitamin, minerals, and water. Water intake to avoid choking. Yes. Yes. Okay, good. But let me see. Um, let me continue with the rule number three. So, do you have any idea about the type of complementary food that you should apply to your baby? The mm. uh, once of baby? Not really. So, one thing that I know is you know that a lot of that food is just like soft food and it's rice. Mm. Okay. Mm. Actually, it's recommended to give a variety of nutrient food for the baby growth and development. Some nutrients uh, needed by the baby include the protein and you see, mm -hmm. the iron, the zinc, calcium, vitamin A and C, vitamin D and E, and as well as folate. All this is very important for the brain development and the body growing and building the immune system as well. So um, if you can, we try to feed your baby with the iron and zinc, such as the iron and rich um, cereal, in the markets, if you are not free to, to make it by yourself, and then the puree meat and poultry dishes like what you make there, and then you can cook some plain tofu and legume or steam some soybean for the baby to eat as well. So, mommy, they don't have any preservative? Yes, it's safe for baby to consume it. So, if you consume this iron and rich uh, rice based cereal, they got additional benefit because it's is lower the risk of the allergy reaction. Mm -hmm. So that's why it's always recommended as a first solid food for baby to start off. Mm -hmm. Yes. Mm -hmm. There is variety of brand in the market. It depends on your budget and then how much you want to let the baby try out. Some famous ones is like hands, like the mm -hmm. It's an important one. Cereal, Nestle is in local made. Mm -hmm. So it depends on the budget of the parent as well. So next one. Um, let's move on to the rule number four. So it's that. Do you, know that? Do you know the frequency of feeding your baby according to his age since he's eight months old? Mm -hmm. Okay, actually, um, as a parent, we need to increase the frequency of the baby according to their age. So the most common food that given to the baby is the commercial baby food that we get from the markets. Yeah, all this is commercial. But some parents, if they're free, they can homemade their own puree food, like what we did here, according to their age as well. So the homemade food is more healthy, more clean, because the mother clean it, um, eat it by themselves. So um, for your baby, since it's age 7 to 8 months old, so we will offer 7 to 9 months old version. So 
the number of I mean the, you can give him about two to three servings per day mm -hmm. aside from the formula milk. Okay. So this is like additional for him to feel full and then give him energy as well. So the texture of the food can be the thick, lumpy, oatmeal that we eat. So you can add on some chewed finger food as well, so he can have additional with um, the finger food. Some is seven months old and three. This one is suitable for his age because it's seven months old. So um, as a mother, usually we mix, like give him variety, so he will be interested to this food during the day. So two to three seven for the solid food. Aside from all this rest meal and from the So the recommended food will be the iron fortified food cereal mixed with the breast milk and formula, or the whole milk cracker, this is a whole milk cracker, or the cooked and mashed vegetable with the fruit as well, and the pureed chicken, you can mince the chicken, you can steam the chicken and mince it as well. So the baby will try to eat by himself. At the same time, you can introduce a sick a few sick water because before six months, it's not encouraged children, uh, mother to give the water mm. because the breast milk contains everything that you need. But after seven months, it's recommended to give them some water. So after all the solid milk, all the solid things, then they can sit in some water as well. Is this like the water amount that they, the baby will be eating is only giving one cup? Um, actually, for me, it's simple. Frequency it depends on the request because for me as a mother, I will feed my baby regularly when he needs it. Mm -hmm. So it's sub very subjective, it depends on the parents, depends on the children as well. So the lessons we want for the rule number five. Okay. Um, the golden rule number five is um, it's often very preparatory food preparation method when the baby grows older so you can give some parents some head out what should they do to prepare the food or they should learn by from the market. So um, do you have any time to prepare the complimentary food at home for your baby or you will opt for a commercial one? Okay, so since homemade food are very good for the baby, so let me introduce a very food preparation method for you. But first thing, you have to equip yourself with some equipment, such as the um, the blank, the sterilizing equipment. This one, the one at the back. So you need to have a processor and a blender to blend the food. You need a steamer to steam the vegetables off. And then after all this thing done, after we puree the food, we need to have a container to keep it. And then we have to. Some people will do it in ice cream tray. So all this can do it inside and then we can freeze it after we are done, up to two days. So the food should be stored in the freezer with a dimension 5 degree or below to make it fresh. So the food can be kept up to two days in the intact container in the fridge. So when we want to um, warm up the puree, we need to make sure the the puree was preheating until 75 degrees Celsius. Mm -hmm. It's hot enough to kill all this bacteria. So, but it's not allowed to drop until 65 mm -hmm. because the virus might grow inside the food until you are ready to feed him. So, the method we can we can have a few methods on doing this one. So, first thing we have we can try for the puree food. First thing you need to wash the fruits and vegetable curry under the running water. Second thing, you have to peel it, remove all the core of seed and cut into the cube. Mm -hmm. So that thing is like, get the steamer ready, we will steam the vegetable for a few minutes. Or it depends on how soft you want the things to be. So for period food, usually we have to be the soft texture before we can uh, slam it. So after, after you, the things is ready, you mix some formula milk or breast milk to blend together with the puree. So when uh, you need to make sure the texture is runny and smoky for the baby to sweep in, I mean to swallow because six months old usually they are not very good on swallowing. For the eight month old, since the baby is mm -hmm. I would recommend you to do the mashed food mm -hmm. because let him taste some chewing mm -hmm. and then um, we can wash the food as the previous one. And then the only different different thing is like we have to place the soft food inside the bowl and we can mash it with the, mm -hmm. with the equipment like the fork or spoon or so. 
then you can fit in. If you want to make some texture, you can add on some formulas or let him easily swallow. So uh, there is some convenient food in the market also. This is suitable for example. Since some easy mother, they are not free to do their own food, so they will offer a commercial, or else you can bring it when you are outside. So it's convenient. Yeah. Yes. But once you open, you have to consume it within a day. Because they've got some requirement. This one consider one? No, I'm two sessions. Two sessions. Two, two session. Depends on how, how big the appetite is going to be. But usually for me, I'll, I'll stay with this. Stay with Yes, but if you are outside, you can just consume it. This is totally safe for the skin. It's in hot. Hot, then you have to make it warm. Make sure the temperature is suitable for the baby. And then for the if he get older, he can opt for the chop food like what you suggested. Mm -hmm. So the first thing will be the same one. You have to wash the food thoroughly under water, peel, remove the pot. The last thing is um, if you use a soft food, you can skip all this stuff. Mm -hmm. So you just cut it into the small pieces and let him hold by himself to test the taste. Um, I believe the baby would like to chew something with their own hand mm -hmm. in instead of the hand to So, um, the, when doing preparation, you need to be cautious about some steps. Do you have any idea about that? Mm -hmm. Maybe you need to wash first uh, before using any mm -hmm. the bowl, spoon, and everything. Yeah, but um, some, some type of hygiene, like we have to clean our refrigerator as well. Because usually we tend to put in everything inside of the refrigerator and then the baby food also is slightly like might contaminate. So it's recommended if financial allowed, some parents will get a additional small fridge just to store the food. Mm -hmm. And then they can do it in a small container or they can store it inside um, the dark way. Mm -hmm. Or some they do it in ice cube that I would suggest you some. The, the face is one. So during when you want to bake it, you have to pick it up into the cooler. Yeah. Then you have to use a steamer to steam it hot. But it cannot drop until 60 degrees because the, the bacteria might grow inside. So this is convenient because it's like a cube. Mm. It depends on you can try one piece, maybe two pieces at a time. So if the baby is a bit of time, you can increase by mm. different time. But it's recommended to put the baby in a baby chair yeah. and then with a couple of beads and then the baby cup, stand by water and then the baby more like what you have to before you feed it. And it's not recommended to put the food inside the feeding water bottles because some parents, they want to save time. They just pick the cereal, mm -hmm. mix with the breast milk or the formula and let the baby sit in like that. It might cause a choking issue. And then when during the preparation, you need to maintain the hygiene uh, preparation habit by using the fresh ingredient. So we, we only get the ingredient when we need it. And then we always put the date on the frozen food that we made, like a puree that we saw in the fridge. Mm -hmm. It's usually that once about to uh, consume within two days for the puree food. Mm -hmm. Or else if you put it in the freezer, you can date it, but it's not no more than two months. Uh, so we always uh, keep the raw material away from all this meat because it might have a summer level transfer from the food to another one. So it's for personal hygiene, it's recommended to wash your hands thoroughly with the soap and then the water. And we have to regularly clean our refrigerator before we store anything. Do you understand my explanation? Do you do you have any questions? Usually, um, nine months onwards, mm -hmm. but for the soft type of food like tuna, like eight months to seven to nine months also can consume. Then um, we can give tuna salmon, but we have to smash it. Mm -hmm. And then make sure the bone in the salmon is mm -hmm. because salmon tends to have a very very small bone. Mm -hmm. We need to make sure everything was away from that. So. Um, this is a very good book for the web friends. You really can have a look with one more information. And then um, this is a screen tap for commercial book from the markets.
I thought some of the I asked from the bookshop yes. This is a tool to give us some of the knowledge to fix it. Yes. Okay, so this is This from I think from a baby to to the seven years old, if I'm not mistaken. And then, um, oh, this is a finger food that she put on the baby. This is a period and they got different. In the market, they got six months. Period? Yes. So, one feed it. The one time, I don't think the baby will finish. Yeah. Once you open the baby, it's still inside the baby. And then, they got different age from the six. Uh, in the market, they set up performance. So it depends, but it's not recommended to see And then this is a finger from overseas. The overseas are from Australia, isn't it? Where you got this? Um, from the supermarket. Village uh, really so He don't also sell this. You know, there's all the supermarket that bring different variety of things. This girl uh, has a different kind of age. Then this is a... I think this is a local one. This is a local one. This is a local one. Yeah, and this is because of that. This is a plant food. But this is recommended for the older people because mm. it's like dry, dry one day. Oh, mm. mm. This is a period of place also. You can compare the texture, it's almost the same. Just this one, um, maybe it will keep longer time, but that one must be consumed fresh. They got the, they got egg on the beef one. So if you want to have more iron for the baby, it's recommended to have the beef one. You can get, easily get it from the market. Maybe you can eat the same Yeah, and then the shape is on. No, actually it's the, the meal. The meal. The snack is the food. Yeah. So if I say I give this thing for breakfast, can? Can. 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 Some parents they want to save time because they are busy with one thing. Mm -hmm. They will just buy one and the more milk. Mm -hmm. Or you can save it all. But when you are giving something, you should not forget to give breastfeeding this one. Mm -hmm. Oh, okay. Mm -hmm. so, yeah. Then this is a uh, recommended brush for the young baby, mm -hmm. the young baby, mm -hmm. to, to not like her. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. They got different age one from this is 0 to 6, and then some they got 6 to 12 months of age. This is 8 and 10 and 10 then if you want to attract the baby to eat more, you can use all this color colors. Thank you.